Uh, my name is Andy Lenning. I want to thank you for joining us for Paysetter's Power Half Hour. Today, Paysetter Enterprises has partnered with InfoTrends, the leading worldwide market research and strategic consulting firm for the imaging, document solutions, production print, and digital media industries to provide insight on new ways companies can leverage digital technology for the next projects. Paysetter Enterprises is changing the way companies view print. You know, gone are the days of needing to print thousands of decals, window clings, gone are the days of having to go offset for things like, uh, you know, white ink, spot varnish, things of that nature. So if you're feeling fancy and you want to get your pieces to sparkle and shine, digital is now the answer. And in these next 30 minutes, we'll showcase all of the new applications you can leverage with digital print. Presenting today will be uh, Kim Gross, Director of Sales and Marketing for Paysetter, and Kate Dunn, Director for InfoTrends. Kate Dunn is an award-winning leader in relevant cross-channel marketing, regularly shares her expertise at industry events across the United States as well as abroad. Kate is the director for the InfoTrends Business Development Service and works with organizations around the world to achieve specific marketing and sales objectives. Having published more than 30 case studies since 2003, Kate is recognized leader in the strategic development and execution of personally relevant B2B and B2C marketing programs and employee communication. Kim Gross is the Director of Sales and Marketing at Paysetter Enterprises in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Paysetter has been leading the way in the communications and printing industries for almost 30 years, offering highly effective cross-channel marketing programs, integrating traditional print with cutting-edge web technology. Kim has spent the last eight years working with clients of all sizes throughout the country, helping them to streamline marketing processes, integrate robust marketing programs, and ultimately take their business communications to the next level. Several of the projects she has led have received top awards at the annual DICE conference as well as the PODI app form held each year. Uh, now your questions will be welcome. Everyone's microphones uh, are going to be muted today to minimize any noise for our speakers, but you can still ask your questions. So uh, to your right on the GoToMeeting dashboard, down at the bottom, you should see a place to type your questions. I'll monitor these during the webinar and make sure our speakers can answer them during the presentations. Okay, let's get started. Without further delay, Kim. Thank you so much, and I'd like to uh, welcome Kate Dunn and thank her for joining us this afternoon to share some of her insights. So welcome, Kate. Oh, thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. So what we're going to look at today, um, you know, the, the landscape is changing, uh, business is changing, things are evolving. So we're going to take a look at, at what that looks like. And then we're going to spend a lot of time talking about some new capabilities that we have with digital equipment. And it's really exciting. There are so many more things you can do, so many things you can add personalization to. Uh, you know, we're going to go into all of that and show you some examples of how other companies have used some of these new capabilities. We're also going to take a little bit of time and talk about G7 certification, you know, kind of talk about what that is and why it's important for your companies to be looking at that when you're selecting your print vendors. And then we'll, we'll summarize everything and we'll have some time for Q&A. But, you know, as Andy said, as you have questions, feel free to type them into the question bar and we'll be monitoring those throughout. So as a company, you know, Paysetter continues to evolve, and we really believe that the possibilities have just become endless for what we as a company can help to provide for you. And just to kind of give you a background, I, I calculated the number of years that Kate, Andy, and I have had in the print indus in industry, and it's almost 65 years of experience. So we've seen a lot. We've seen a lot of change, and we're all super excited about where the industry is, is headed. You know, as a company, for almost 30 years, our mission has been pretty simple. We keep an eye on the changing marketplace, and we continue to adapt the resources that are necessary to help our customers really remain successful. And it's not something we take lightly. You know, we always deliver. We invest in new equipment. We invest in staff. We invest in resources. We listen to our customers. And we really, our, our end goal is to help take your project to the next level leverage the most cutting edge technology on the market today and really help you make an impact and, and allow you to do that easily. And Kim, I'd just like to, to throw in my two cents there. Um, at InfoTrends, we study this market exclusively and specifically how organizations are communicating with their constituents and um, what's needed in the market. And, and, and what we've found is that with shrinking staff size and um, diminished expertise on uh, print communication specifically within a lot of organizations, that the companies that are going to that extra level of 
developing um, processes and, and the getting the technology that um, expands what their customers can do, uh, streamlining processes and uh, bringing expertise to the table that helps them be more efficient in their marketing strategies and their printing of, of documents and communication and also more effective with that communication. So those are the most successful companies in the industry and um, we've always been very impressed with what Paysetters uh, has done and, and what they continue to do to position themselves as a strategic partner with their customers. Thank you so much and again, you know, that's great to hear and, and we appreciate that and it's, it's something that we've been committed to you know since since we opened our doors in 1986 and one thing that we've seen is that the landscape is changing so we know that as a company producing thousands and thousands of pieces it doesn't always make sense um, you know but we know that sometimes in order to get a good price on things you need to produce that high quantity because producing things at lower quantity just you can't justify that price and you know, we also know that based on some of the applications or the way you want that piece to look, you didn't always have a choice. So you wanted something with white ink, you wanted something on a certain substrate, you wanted a certain finishing option, you had to go offset, which meant you had to order a certain quantity. And that's until now, and that's all changed. So we've noticed that a lot of our customers are asking, you know, can we do this job? Can it be done and fit within our budget? And as a company, you know, we saw that print jobs were coming becoming more complex. We saw that there were tighter deadlines and we wanted to be able to get the job done and to be able to say to our customers, yes, we can do all of that. And we took it upon ourselves to start researching the top equipment that was coming out on the market today. We spent a lot of time going to conferences and, and researching some of the up and coming things that were happening. And we spent a lot of time talking to our customers. We wanted to figure out and understand what it is that would make their job easier. What challenges were they facing? And we took all of that information and we met with a lot of manufacturers throughout the industry um, to determine what was, what, what was capable, what was out there, and what was the best fit for our customers. And we really feel that here at Paysetter we have the answer. We are now able to, we've invested, I should say, in equipment that's going to allow us to do things that you really could never do with digital equipment. Um, we have one of the top pieces of equipment on the market today. It's doing what no other digital box can do. You'll find that some of the other boxes on the market can do bits and pieces of it, but, but not all of it. And one of those things is our ability to produce pieces that contain white and clear toner. And we're going to talk a little bit about the fact that these are becoming a game changer for a lot of companies. Um, you know, the, the capabilities of what you're able to do and how you're able to leverage this technology is just making the marketing pieces, the marketing campaigns that companies are executing um, just stand out and, and is becoming a total game changer. And I'm going to turn it over to Andy and he's going to talk to you a little bit about some of the applications and how you can use this moving forward. Thanks. Yeah, that's right, Kim. I mean, um for a lot of the types of pieces that you really want to have some pop on, things like being able to put on uh, spot areas of this clear toner, it's the look of a, of a spot varnish. So that was something you absolutely had to go on to an offset press for. Longer runs could to make that worth the while. So we can do a, an on-demand short run with some spot varnish looking pieces to really help a, a piece of imagery or a piece of text just pop. Uh, or using things like the white uh, toners to help out for overprinting on dark or metallic substrates, things of that nature. And again, remember, um, all of this, since we're doing digitally, can also be versionable, and we'll get a little bit more into that as well. Absolutely. And the other thing that we're seeing too is that, you know, a lot of these applications you were able to do, but you had to do offset. And so thinking about the time it took to do that, you were looking at five to ten business days, depending on the quantity and the actual application. Well, now that it's digital, you're looking at a turnaround time of 24 to 48 hours, which is just huge for today's market. You're also going to see yourself saving money. So now there's no minimum. So in the past, you had to print 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 of something to make it worthwhile. I mean, now digitally, you just you, you can print one. So so the cost savings there is just insurmountable. And you know, as Andy no, said, oh, go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. 
<laughs> um, you know, and, and the other piece of it, like Andy just mentioned, is the ability to add personalization. Um, so not only are you able to do these really sexy things with white and clear, and we'll talk about substrates, but now you can add, you can make it customized. So you can make these window clings customized to the individual, these magnets, these folders. We're going to talk a lot about packaging capabilities and how you can personalize that. So the possibilities are just really limitless. Well, and then I'll just add to that that um, at Infotrend study data has shown that 64, almost 65% of all marketing uh, today is either personalized or segmented versioned to specific customer groups. And um, we know that personalization increases the interaction with the document, increases the response, and it increases the likelihood of conversion. But what always held people back on um, was that these tended to be, um, you know, the, these are revenue gen generating pieces of collateral. And so uh, people wanted these special effects and they were, would run them offset and it just didn't make sense to get them personalized as well. And now these two things have, have come together and you have the ability to create really one-to-one -one documents with that same flair that um, drives response and conversion. Absolutely. And Andy, we just had a question come in and I'm hoping you can touch upon this, of maybe some examples of clear toner and white toner applications. Sure, yeah, actually um, we, we've been doing uh, a couple of pieces for few of our customers where they have to do something of uh, an example chart like paint swatches or uh, uh, window uh, siding. Uh, there was a, a window manufacturer that did the same thing where they put the paint swatches and we have a truck manufacturer does the same thing. Well, uh, traditionally they would actually get a paint chip chart or a paint chip book built um, and uh, it would overlay swatches of that paint. And we've done a couple of things with this piece of equipment. The capability of having the clear uh, overlay toner to make that color pop, but uh, and we'll get into this a little bit later. But also some of our color calibration certifications that we're uh, adhering to here um, will help us make sure we're matching paint. So now we can do a short run digital that's going to look like an actual paint chip, uh, and then uh, so the, the costs and the, and the run length on those kind of things can come way down. Another neat example we just did uh, this week um, in terms of uh, personalizing something with the white toner. I, I we did for a customer a little die cast model of a vehicle and uh, we put their customer's name on the front and the doors of that vehicle. Well, it was a dark red um, uh, metal painted model and the logo was yellow. Well, toner is not very uh, opaque, but now we back print that with the white, we pass it through the machine again and now we can make that thing pop. So we're able to put the, the decals right on the truck for them and that kit went out uh, to that client and it was great. And again, this is not something we did with that, but remembering that since it's digital, we can version it. So now we can even say, you know, we're going to do a model or a kit to that customer, but also every employee at that place, their name is going to be on that piece. So we've got a lot of applications there, a lot of flexibility with how we can use this to make that much more relevant to the user. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I'm going to turn it over to Kate, and she's going to talk a little bit about specialty media and how that can help enhance your results. Yes, and, and the point, the major point here is that print it is uh, very often being used to get the customer engaged in and involved in a digital relationship, if you will. So it has to stand out, has to be intriguing in order to get that customer to interact with the brand, if you will. So what we're seeing is that these use of specialty stocks um, can radically improve response rates. So for instance, um, one uh, brand was able to use a, a textured stock and um, actually this was not a brand, this was a fundraiser and increased donations by 13.1%. Um, the other brand was able to use a, a textured and color, you know, make the, making the ink pop with the white background and they saw a 46.25% response increase just from add, adding these kinds of, of paper uh, textures and colors and specialty inks into the mix. So it's not just a nice to have, it actually pays for itself um, with, our, with the return on your investment. 
So you can look at uh, inspiring your audience with uh, marketing collateral, making that message personalized, uh, help your organization create new value added opportunities, um, really differentiate your brand by not looking like all the other things that are out there. And uh, you can really get ahead of the competition uh, by demonstrating really the power of your brand using these kinds of documents. So, um, and, and the, the key thing here is that typically this stuff is used on revenue generating things like lead generation, direct mail, um, applications for new orders, and fundraising applications as well. So these things uh, make people react and that gets you return on your investment in terms of response and conversion. Absolutely. And I, you know, I couldn't agree more. And you know, one thing we're noticing, whether it's tickets with variable data, you know, ID cards with watermarks, VIP passes, you know, this new technology is really giving you the ability to print directly on a wide variety of substrates, make you stand out from the competition, make your pieces, you know, more valuable, you know, make your, really improve your ROI. And Annie's going to talk a little bit about, you know, some more specific examples of different substrates that you can use, but I think what's noteworthy is that we can now print and produce specialty items in a way that is more accessible and more affordable than ever. So it's really allowing for applications and, and limited runs that a lot of our customers deemed kind of out of reach. And now it's becoming a real possibility. So what I'll do is turn it over to Andy. And I know he has some specific examples of some substrate applications. And you know, there's we, we get a question from a lot of our customers on, on digital print size capabilities. And that's now all changed. So Andy, I'm going to turn it back over to you. OK, thanks, Kim. You're right. I mean, when you, people think back to the days of color copying, digital color printing like that. You know, we all have that look of, hey, I just popped this thing through my Xerox and look at this shiny toner on my paper. So guess what? It always looked great on a coated stock, a gloss paper. Um, but one of the things that was always a weakness with the color digital is that any textured stocks, the toner didn't get down into the crevices and the cracks. So anything with a classic laid or a linen finish or a felt finish or things like that couldn't do. Uh, the new technology, it's a, it's a new way of making the toner. It's a new way of uh, adhering the toner to the paper. Um, and the whole machine approaches the print process differently in that we can now feed, like we were saying, dark colored stocks, metallic colored stocks, whereas before they wouldn't even feed through the machines uh, back in the day because the, the, the sensors would not even register that paper going through. So we've opened up a wide array of different kinds of paper to be able to print on now. And then on top of that, again, we can add things that we couldn't do before with the clear spot thing. Again, for security features to a uh, uh, an ID card or th things of that nature, or just to make different colors pop. The example there with the chair on it is a great brochure where all the images have a little bit of that shine to it on an uncoated paper. So it just helps it to, to pop out. And one thing to really notice about that sheet is we're talking about a new size that was never really possible with the digital machine before. We can do a run length of a 27 and a half inch sheet. So when we're talking about a lot of uh, uh, corporations that need to do their brochures or sell sheets, you're talking about an a, a 11 by 25 and a half trifold down to an 8 and a half by 11. Always had to go on press. Very hard to do digitally. Now we can do that. And again, since it's digital, we can version it. We can one off it. There's no minimum run lengths on something like this. So if we're customizing a print, a print proposal or uh, some sort of uh, specification sheet for a customer, we can make one. We can make 10. We can make whatever. So we really have a lot more um, flexibility there. And another thing in terms of things uh, like dimensional packaging, uh, making uh, packets and boxes, things like that, we have a greater capability with the actual weight of the substrates we're running through. We can get up uh, beyond a 300 GSM. We're relating to things uh, to 16-point cover and beyond. So there's a lot of things. That also goes along with the synthetic stocks. We do polyester and teslin and things of that nature. So it really does open up a, a, a wide gamut of things to be able to print and thinking about those different sizes. And we can bring that back into some dimensional packaging. So as long as we have the paper size big enough, we can start looking at how to lay out something that needs to be die cut. Well, and, and um, Andy, I'll just point out too that uh, there's an awful lot of the, this equipment makes a wide spectrum of what I like to refer to as pop-up packaging, which is pre-die cut, um, pre-scored packaging. So uh, those can be run quickly, again, with that short turnaround, perfect item for customer giveaways for a big presentation or even small direct mail campaigns. And you're actually eliminating all the need for post-production die cutting and, and all of those things. 
Absolutely. Exactly. And Kate, that's a great point. And I mean, you can just see by the slide the possibilities. I mean, you can really just do almost anything. Uh, you know, custom packaging, you know, we've got candy examples, giveaways, custom bags. Um, you know, here's an example for uh, a manufacturer of, of beauty supplies, customizing samples for specific people. I mean, this stuff was just never possible or, you know, never possible easily unless you were putting labels on, on products. And now you can digitally do all of this, which is just, which is just really fantastic, and it's really turning the world of one-to-one -one marketing upside down. Uh, interesting statistic for everyone. Um, this is from the Direct Marketing Association, but B2B dimensional mailings have a 98.8% better response rate than flat envelopes. Um, you know, obviously, something that's more dimensional is going to give you a higher lift. Um, you know, and so something that like this, you know, considering the die cut and going on press and getting everything produced, which could have taken weeks sometimes. I mean, you're talking 24 to 48 hour turnaround time, which is just unbelievable. So you're in that 11th hour, you have this great marketing idea, you want to get in the hands of your customers, and you need it done quickly. It just wasn't a possibility before this new technology came out, and now it is. So it's just really, really giving you the ability to do things that you just couldn't have done in the past. I'm going to turn it back over to Andy. We're going to take a few minutes and talk about G7 certification and why it's so important. And, you know, it may sound a little Greek to you, but it's just something so important, I think, for all of our customers to know and something to look for when you are looking at your print vendors because it's really going to help ensure that the quality of your pieces is consistently matching, and it's something that we at Pace are taking very seriously. That's right, Kim. In fact, uh, you know, brand continuity is always top of the mind when I talk with marketers um, and marketing departments within some of the corporations that we work with. Um, you know, when you're working with a bunch of different vendors for different print pieces, how do you maintain control over your brand colors? Your PMS color is your PMS color, and you need it to be that. And that's part of your brand. That's who you are. And G7 certification, in a nutshell, is basically it's the newest uh, new color balancing gamut out there that is being used not only for the digital market, uh, but it helps to span from proof to final print to make sure that you have a consistent brand color on all the machines and print. So if we create a profile using our G7 certification, you can be assured that the proof you see is going to look like the final proof, uh, the final print rather. And that would match whether we run it this week or next month or two years from now, it needs to match. And so what that means to us here at Paysetter is we've invested in uh, quite a bit of software and the machinery and technology for the calibrations uh, to make sure that everything works on the paper that we specified for to match the colors. So when you design a piece, you know it's going to look like the same thing on the proof and it's going to look the same thing on the press. Now, there's a lot more detail involved in that, obviously. There's a lot of technology behind that. And we really don't have the time right now. It's not really the format for that. But if there is any more questions, you can always email me later after the fact, and we can get a little more information on that. Absolutely, and it is something that, that you should be looking at as you look for your for your vendors. You know, so we're going to start wrapping this up. We're almost at the end of our 30 minutes, and I know that everyone is super busy, but what makes Paysetter unique? Uh, one of the things that really sets us apart and, you know, is that we have a partnership with, with Rico US today, and basically what that means to you as our customer is you'll never experience any downtime, um, and that's something that's pretty unique in the industry. Uh, based on this strategic partnership, we are guaranteed that we will always have machines running and up and can get the job done that we need to get done. Our staff is, is trained for color matching, troubleshooting, calibration, quality accuracy. We're not having to constantly be calling in um, for maintenance and service because we have a staff on site that is trained and able to handle that. You know, we talked about this a little earlier, but I, I just want to emphasize, you know, we have a continued investment in new technology and services. It's something that we've done for the past 30 years. Um, you know, if you look at where we started in 1986 and where we are today, we've just completely involved and completely changed, and it's something that we plan on doing for the next 30 years. And, you know, as Andy said, the G7 certification, right now we are the only print provider in the Lehigh Valley offering that, and we're actually only one of 1,100 printers throughout the United States that's, that's trained, certified, and able to handle that. So we're definitely ahead of the curve on that and, and um, you know, staying that way and, and continuing to provide the most up-to-date for our customers. Well, and Kim, I'll just add in there, there are approximately 90,000 printers in the in North America. So that's a, a very specialized group that you're a part of. 
Absolutely. Thank you so much for adding that. Um, so just to summarize, you know, white and clear toner capabilities that are changing the digital landscape, we are more than happy to talk to anybody offline with specific questions or specific applications. But these two capabilities are really changing how things can be done digitally and, and the, the capabilities thereof. Uh, the diverse substrate capabilities are really, really allowing for almost limitless production and capabilities. So really, we're just seeing the ability to do so many more things that we, you know, even a few months ago didn't have the ability to do. The time to market has been reduced from weeks to days in a lot of cases, and that's just huge for a lot of companies. They're able to get things to market much quicker, which is critical in today's competing marketplace. Um, these sophisticated marketing pieces that we talked about are now becoming more affordable, so things that seemed out of reach in the past are now completely affordable and able to be done. The G7 certification, again, it's just huge, and it's really ensuring that your pieces are always going to be consistent in quality, and it will never be an issue. Something that you're also now able to do is really test campaign messaging. So you're you know, able to take these, these complex processes and these really sophisticated marketing campaigns, and since you don't have to order 10,000 of one thing that's static, you can take one group and try one method, another group try another method. You can print 1,000 of each. You can produce 1,000 of each. You can test it out to see what works before you apply that to your entire entire consumer base, which is, which is really helpful for a lot of marketing departments. Kate talked about this, but the, the ability to personalize what once was a traditionally static material is dramatically improving marketing effectiveness. I just can't stress this enough. I mean, the fact that we can do this now is just, you know, so amazing, and it's just adding another level of dimension and added response rates for a lot of our customers. So, you know, really, the possibilities are limitless. We would love to, you know, talk to you on, you know, a more personal level as to what your projects are and what it is you're looking to do. But, you know, really, we're just seeing so many, so many cool things happening. So I'm going to go. I don't know that we have any questions coming through. Let me just check real quick. We don't. So if you have any questions, now is the time to get them in. Uh, you can go to the panel on the right-hand side and, and, and type in those questions. Obviously, if you have questions after the fact, you can get in touch with us, either through the sales rep that invited you or by calling us directly. Um, but, you know, I want to thank everybody for their time. I'm, I'm hoping that you were able to draw a few things maybe for some future projects or take a few things away, things that we can now do digitally that, that you didn't know of before, and, and hopefully it was pretty informative. Andy or Kate, do you have anything to add? No, I think we're good. Uh, I really appreciate you helping out here. I, you know, I, like I say, it's a lot of information. Uh, it's a lot of new and exciting things for me. Um, and um, you know, I'm hoping that um, our folks here will get a chance to kind of absorb this and uh, how they can apply that to future projects. Like you said, uh, I'm really excited to to work in this new medium. Yeah, and I would just add to that that um, there's such a heavy focus on digital marketing these days that a lot of uh, younger marketers aren't familiar with print, and you guys have the expertise to kind of help them get through a project like this if they haven't done one before. Absolutely, that's a great point. So again, I don't see any additional questions, so thank you so much for your time. You will be getting a recording of this presentation. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with the sales rep that contacted you or by calling our, our main number that's down at the bottom of the screen. So thank you again for your time. Have a great afternoon, and we look forward to working with you all very soon. Great.